Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today we will be taking a look at a new bag, the Alpkit Skytrail 14 litre. This video will be a first look and first impressions video and once I have had a good amount of time using it, I will do a full review. First off, I brought this bag myself with my own money and it is going to be used primarily for bikepacking trips mainly for camera gear as we head into the wetter and colder months i needed a bag that was going to offer a little bit more protection from the weather over their everdict vest bag that i would normally use so first let's take a closer look at the bag this is the 14 liter version of the skytrail in red although it does also come in a dark gray and blue color the bag retails at 65 pounds however i got it for 50 pounds in a sale the price is on par with similar sized bags for this price this bag also has room for a bladder however the bladder does not come included so will need to be brought individually However, it does come with a magnetic closing system that you can attach to the bladder hose. The bag has 11 individual pockets and 12 if you include where the bladder is stored. The bag weighs 600 grams and it also has a little safety whistle on the chest strap. As I want to use this bag mainly for camera gear and batteries and that kind of stuff, I was drawn to this bag because of the pockets, 11 pockets in total. The bag has two zipped hip mesh pockets that are found on most bags nowadays, good for quick access to cash or snacks, as well as two side mesh pockets for your bottles or whatnot. The main outside pocket is actually designed to be able to fit a helmet and it does probably not big enough for a full face but a standard road or mountain bike helmet will fit fine the fabric on this outside pocket is a stretchy fabric to help fit a helmet and thus for not waterproof although i can't see myself really using this section for a helmet myself it is a good space for a waterproof jacket for quick access also a good place to stash any wet stuff to avoid getting the inside of the bag wet this pocket can also be loosened or tightened with two straps each side of the bag. There's also a small zipped outside pocket on the top of the bag. It's a good size and I used it for keeping my toothbrush in on a recent trip. If we open the main compartment, we are greeted with yet more pockets to keep your stuff organized. First, we have a small mesh zipped pocket. It's not a huge pocket, but will be good for keeping cash keys or some first aid kind of stuff. The next pocket is on the inside of the front of the bag. This is another smallish pocket that has a clip, which is always a nice little touch to hook something that you always want to know where it is. The next two pockets are really nice for organization. In the back section of the bag, these two pockets are two different sizes. One is about the same size of a modern big smartphone or a 10,000 milliamp power bank. The other is slightly bigger and fits the DJI Mini drone in with a little space to spare. And then the main pocket, which is plenty big enough to store a jacket with lots of room left to spare. The next section to this bag is the bladder section, which I mentioned doesn't come with the bag, which is a bit of a shame to be honest. It would have been nice if it would have come with one. The bladder is accessed via a zip along the shoulder strap and down the side of the bag. There is easily enough room for a two litre bladder in here. Also, there is a little cutout to the little zipped mesh pocket in the inside of the bag for if you wanted to run a cable to charge your phone or whatnot. Overall, the space and organization of this bag is actually really nice. For the one trip I have used this on, being able to have quick access to batteries instead of digging around to try and find them was really great. Like I mentioned, I have only used this bag on one trip so far, so the verdict on comfort is still out, but for that one trip, it felt solid and secure and didn't move around at all. It's a good size overall. It didn't feel bulky or cumbersome. Being tall at six foot six, just under two meters, when I initially put this bag on, the chest strap was around my neck as this bag does sit quite high up on your back. Fortunately, the chest straps are movable up and down the shoulder straps. I have them as low as I can get them, so I'd say I'm the max height 
you would probably want to be with this bag. For me, the hip straps are fine in terms of height when riding, they don't feel uncomfortable. However, access to the little side mesh pockets do feel a little bit awkward to reach. The comfort of the bag on my back felt good and comfortable. The bag uses a mesh and vented padding, which feels nice on the back. And in terms of getting a sweaty back, I didn't really notice anything too bad on the first ride, but there was quite a cold wind. But as I plan to use this mainly in the colder months, I'm pretty sure the sweaty back won't be too much of a problem. As for the bladder, as I mentioned, it doesn't come with the bag but there is more than enough room for at least a two liter bladder in here and probably even a little bit bigger. The bag does have a neat little way of attaching the bladder hose to the shoulder straps using magnets. There's a little clip with a magnet that attaches to the bladder hose, then another clip that attaches to the shoulder straps. This can be moved up or down on the shoulder strap to get it to where you would like. This can also be completely removed from the bag if you are not using a bladder with the bag, which will probably be most likely what I will be doing as I don't tend to need extra water in the colder months. So now I have got this bag in my hands and it's had a little use. I'm very happy with it. The organization storage is very nice. It feels comfortable while riding and it is a good size. Ideally, I would rather not ride with a bag at all, but needs must. And this feels like a good size, good quality bag that will hopefully last for ages. Something I would say that would be a nice idea for this bag would be if it came with some kind of rain cover. The bag is going to be waterproof for showery conditions, but it has zips. So after all day rainstorms, it will probably end up getting a bit of water in, I'd expect. This will also make a great lightweight hiking bag as it's big enough for everything you need for a day hike and feels nice and comfortable to wear. It will probably be the bag I opt for when I attempt to run 100 miles as I will be able to fit a bivy and a sleeping bag in it. So there we have it, a first look at the Alpkit Sky Trail 14 litre mountain bike bag. After I've put this bag through its paces, we will return to it and see how it's held up. But initial pressions look good, feels good, and it's overall a good quality looking bag. But until next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventure.